Hey, here's a quick update on Remy. I know, this doesn't look like Remy. This is my turd of a cat, Wade. There's Remy. So, um, when we're trying to get a dog to do something, we need to be specific. Oh, place, place, place. Come on, place, good girl. Uh, so oftentimes I get people who are like, oh, I want my dog to just be calm. Well, like that doesn't mean a lot to a dog. A dog doesn't really understand what just be calm means. And so we need to give them something to do that is the equivalent of being calm. And in this case, it's the place command. Place command works really well. Um, and so I kind of showed you my little guy, Wade, because Remy's really interested in Wade and Remy really wants to go check Wade out, um, but she can't. This is how we create some calmness in the home. Remy's got to hold place here. Now you notice she hopped off. And so all I did was I used the stim button here on her e-collar. She's on a level 10 today. Um, that's very, very low. I think uh, you were talking to your mom and uh, I don't remember what Tessa's on, but 10 super, super low. You wouldn't even feel it on your hand. And so as soon as she got off, I just held down this black button here. And when I meet with you again, I'll kind of show you how to use this, but I held it down until she got back on. Hi, sweetie. Hi. And so this is what calm can look like. Play, nope, place. Good girl. And so there she popped off real quick. And I just tapped the button real quick just to help her get back on. Hi. We, whenever we are giving a dog a stationary command, like place or like sit, uh, excuse my house, we're still kind of moving in a little bit, and so it's a mess. Um, and I have a daughter and she's just messy. Um, but anyways, anytime we're ever giving our dogs a stationary command, like place or sit or down, meaning to lie down, we always want to be thinking about the three Ds. And the three Ds are distance, duration, and distraction. And so I always want to be thinking about getting a little bit further and further away without them getting off, getting them to stay there a little bit longer and longer, um, and then getting them to hold it with bigger and bigger distractions. This little chunk is a pretty good distraction. I'll be gay. Um, and so yeah, I, one of the big things I do is when I know he's out here and he's messing around, I'm gonna bring Remy out. I'm gonna put her in place because she wants to go play. Huh? Yeah, you do. And this is how we just work her through it. The root of every single dog problem, every single one, is a lack of impulse control. This builds impulse control. Her impulse is that I want to get off this bed, and so she did. And so I corrected and said, nope, you have to stay on the bed right now. And that builds impulse control on a dog. And as you can see, she's already kind of calmed down. She's relaxed. I'm crouched down in front of her right now. Crouching down in front of her yesterday would have made her mess up every single time. Um, it's because it's a very inviting stance. It's a very... Um, like, yeah, it's a very inviting position that I'm in. But right now, I crouch down, get back up, crouching down, and she's being good. Oh, I know it's hard, though. I know. You're a sweet girl. Yeah, Remy's doing awesome. She's progressing fast.